If climate change raises sea levels, it could wipe out beaches that are vital for endangered migrants that come here from thousands of miles away. Leatherback sea turtles. They can reach seven feet long and weigh as much as a ton. And they sustain this vast bulk on little more than jellyfish. But these giants are at risk from pollution and industrial scale fisheries. Hundreds drown each year, tangled in nets or hooked on long lines. Leatherback numbers have dropped by around 70% in the last 40 years. Panama provides critical nesting sites. In spring, turtles leave foraging grounds that could be as far north as Nova Scotia and swim thousands of miles to Panama's warm tropical beaches. These long migrations could take them through dangerous fishing grounds, but the details of their journey are little known. It's now late May. After two or even three years in the vast ocean, females will be gathering off the coast. They will come ashore to lay their eggs after dark. Only then will the team get the chance to tag a leatherback. Tracking the turtles is the only way for researchers to know exactly where they go and identify dangers they might encounter. Dan, 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 come here. Yeah, this looks like a track. This is definitely a leatherback track, looking at the size of it. Where is she? At the end of the track, a female at just the right stage of the nesting process. Now it's a race against time. Okay, let's go. Rapido, rapido. The team switches to red headlamps. We use the red lights because sea turtles don't see red very well. It tends not to disturb them. While she's laying, she goes into a kind of trance so they can attach the satellite transmitter without bothering her. Okay, so you hold on to that and let me do the putty. Then that's going to act as a, as a cushion here so that we don't do any damage at all to this, to this central ridge. So we have to work quite quickly with this just because it sets quite hard. And we're doing pretty well. She's still laying her eggs. Okay. The transmitter's sitting nice and tight, as it should be, but there's still room for her to grow a little. This is the latest generation satellite tag for leatherbacks. It's capable of tracking the turtle's exact movements in almost real time for about four years. The satellite transmitter can tell us a lot of information about not only where she's going, but how fast she's going there. And from that, we can actually even determine behavior, whether or not she's just migrating, swimming uh, distances between areas, or if she's actually slowing down to feed and forage in an area. Oh, perfect time. Yeah, so that's great. So she's now going to start covering. You know, she uses these rear flippers to cover those eggs up with a, you know, a good covering of sand, pressing it down to make sure that the, you know, the eggs are, are well protected. <laughs> Looks good. Ready to go. She'll spend the next two or three years at sea until she nests again, and she'll almost certainly return to this very beach to do so.